Hello hello. Hello sir. <coughs> yes, thank you. Hi. Happy Christmas and all that. Yeah, Merry Christmas, mate. I accidentally on purpose put my mum's rocky road with me. Oh so you can't believe you've done this. No, I want the little piece. I actually no. No, seriously, I want the little piece. <laughs> you can't have the big piece, Liam. Can't you? <laughs> I'll tell you what, I'll have a marshmallow off of that piece and then you have the big piece because I'm going to have more chocolate cake later and you know Yeah, but you look great at the minute Thanks mate <laughs> Oh my god How good is that? <laughs> First Emporium experience, Jake Really excited <laughs>
Finish it, finish it, finish it. Ah! Oh. Gets heavy around five. How many was that? Uh, seven and a half. Oh, seven and a half. Ten coming up. There you go. <laughs> yeah, wait to get to five. Let's go, bro. You are a... Oh, well, uh, <laughs> Brave face, mate, but I'm in agony. Nando's, What did you say? You say Nando's? Nando's. I mean, half a chicken with half a chicken. <laughs> and then maybe a wrap with some half a To be fair, bro, it's Christmas, so my protein intake is pretty crap. So, you know, yeah, here we go. Look at that. Look at the state of that. First thoughts then, bro? Right, that was real. That was classic. Hello, hello. That's what's so good about it. Everyone just walked outside and had a conversation with someone. Like, it was eight times as big as you. Oh, yeah, it was a big only, guy. Only three times big as big guy. as you. I mean, the, what was that, 240 on the bar? Then he stripped it, then he put it back on. It was oh, like, mate. Jesus. And I did 12 pull ups, I thought I was massive. Here's me a few weeks ago, happy with a 170 deadlift. <laughs> Emporium, out of 10, bro. 12. 12? I'm sure I give it a 17. Score it out of 10. Ooh, 10 and a bit. 17. <laughs> He's Liam now, knows his way around Birmingham. I actually do, I'm well happy with that. Like, did you give me a single direction back from Emporium? Back to Sutton? No. No, not one. I knew where I was going. Birmingham is my stomping ground. Night. Night. <laughs> I love Birmingham. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what's actually quite funny? Like, you put on this Birmingham accent, but in the gym, you actually have a slight twang every, like, four, it's five... because the people that I spend time with the most are from Birmingham. Yep. Yeah, so by the time you're 30, you'll have this horrendously good accent. It was the opposite at uni. Charlotte um, took on my slightly more pronounced accent. But uh, since we've left, it's been the other way around because she's moved home again and, and hers has got worse. Do you know what I mean? Got worse. Well, I've got stronger. There's no way to not say that offensively, is there? <laughs> this is BBC Radio 1. Unbelievably good session at Emporium, followed by a Nando's. Of course, we had a half chicken with just one sweet potato mash because, you know, we're carrying a bit of Christmas tub right now, a bit of Christmas water weight, a bit of Christmas body fat, but it's all good. Raining in, things like that, and doing a bit of cardio, which we did at the end of the session. We'll be all good in a few days, no biggie. The thing I really, really like about Emporium, I put my friggin' ticket in, hang on. The thing I really like is just the environment. I love the music, there's always some good music on that's gonna motivate you. You don't need headphones in a gym like that, which is key if you ask me. Then you just get people like, I mean, Damien was just there making us look like a friggin' child. If you remember last time I was with Steven and Damien, that happened again, kind of. We just chatted as we as we trained. We didn't train together or anything. But uh, they're just there, like me and Jake with our bloody Christmas tub and there was Damien looking like a friggin' Greek god. I'm just like, oh my god. Mate, you are embarrassing me. You are embarrassing me. But usually, if you go anywhere else, you get people like that, that look like that, and they're knobheads, whereas they're just not in Emporium. I've not come across one knobhead in Emporium. Like, that, everyone's just sound. Everyone's just there, doing what they want to do, improving themselves, and that's how it should be. That's how it should be everywhere, but unfortunately, that is just not the case. Um, it is the case in the majority of places, I think. I hope, I would like to think. But 
it's not the case everywhere, but it is the case in Emporium, and that's the important thing. One of the reasons why I love it so much. Radio One. Love Radio One. I love this city. Bam 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 bam. Bam 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 bam. Bam 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 bam. Morning, Jesse. Oh, hello. Oh no. I'm pretty sure I missed it. Oh yeah. There you go. Anyway. Good morning, everybody. Why are we making oats? It's breakfast time. We're having oats. As a general rule, I normally have 60 grams. It tends to be enough for me. Too bright. Whilst not going overboard, you know? It's too, too bright. bright. Yeah. Okay. Should have thought about that. We'll swap over. So, step numero uno, place your saucepan. That's a saucepan, right? I think so. I don't cook. Set the scales to zero. Pour your oats of choice in. This is probably going to be the rest of them, actually. Um, How many are you having? 60 grams, but one gram back in there because I have 60. It only leaves this amount left in the tub. But it's you okay, know. you fill it up. Anyway, is what it is. I add boiling water straight away. You don't necessarily have to do that. And I pretty much add it up until it says about 400 on the scale. There or thereabouts, so that's a 323. Three. I won't necessarily weigh that again. So I turn that to high heat like so, and leave that for probably 30 seconds max. Once that 30 seconds and constant stirring is done, turn it down and enjoy. Going to accompany that with some of the leftover, well leftover is just the bottom of the bag really. Chocolate caramel, my protein, in mm -hmm. packed whey. Um, I've been powering through in my oats. Um, either chocolate caramel or sticky top pudding. Ooh. And um, yeah, I know, right? And they are actually as good as they sound, especially in oats. So I, like I reckon there's about, just about a full mm -hmm. scoop in there. So I'd probably normally put a bit more than that in, to be honest, but I'm just gonna pour the rest of the bag in because it won't hurt. We're not actually in any risk of um, going over on cows today though because myself and Charlotte just carefully stir that in you know the routine and turn and flick and stir and flick it's all in the wrist you got it all on the floor no I didn't he did We're not risking going over on calories today because myself and Charlotte are about to train this boote we're about to train glutes glute day with my girlfriend or something along those lines no. anyway aren't we no we're gonna film that session aren't we no we're not Leave so you guys alone. can stay tuned for that video in a couple of videos time, but for now, we have started watching this new series, well it's not a new series, but it's a series on Netflix, um, so we're going to eat this. I'll probably accompany it with a banana and a glass of OJ. Oh, I like Fanta. And that'll be it. No, I'm having pre, so I'm not having a monster yet. Have both. <laughs> then we'll have an afternoon. suppose it is Christmas. Then we can have an afternoon nap because you'll have a crash. Okay. I said, then we can have an afternoon nap. No, I'm on my haircut this afternoon. I can't, I can't, can't be crashing this Man! afternoon. I need to get fresh trim. Okay, so, if you have enjoyed today's video, guys, please do me a massive favour. Drop it a like, comment down below, subscribe if you are new. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you all had a very Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, all that jazz. And I will see you... in the next one. You're a freak.